hi and welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to connect your power bi to a microsoft sql server database and the reason why you have to learn this is in many scenarios when you get to the workplace the data source you are connecting to are not always excel even though some data comes in excel you have to stay connect to databases which can be oracle postgre mongodb microsoft sql or even ms you know my sql database for us to carry out this as a you know, very short video, I'm going to show you this. I've already installed SQL Server on my local machine and yours will be on your server, either on cloud or on premise in your organization. And for you to learn how to do this, I have a video pin right here that will walk you through how to also install this on your system. And there are databases that I have here. I have Adventure Works 2019. That is the one for OLTP, Online Transaction Processing. It's optimized for that kind of activities. And the second one here is um, Adventure Works DW 2019, which is the Data Warehouse 2019. This is optimized for online analytical, you know, processing. It's OLP, meaning the structure, the fat and dimension of the tables already makes room for them to easily analyze the business. Why I have a database here, which is for practice. So if I download any data online, Excel, I just upload them into a table and have them here. So we're going to connect to any of this, by the way. Okay. So from power bi right here you see different sources of you know connecting to data uh, instead of clicking on this you can actually click on import data from sql server is referring to microsoft sql server you can go to get data so that i can see the list of all possible data sources then click on more and you're going to see the different data sources i can just come to database and right here i'm going to see the sql server database that is the one for microsoft you know can see a whole lot of other databases click on connect it's going to have for server server uh, for server i'm going to just come back here this is the server name for you to get it just right click and go to properties i'm going to see right here this is the server name so i can copy this that's mine alternatively you still want to have more details around this you can click on this view connection properties you see server name here you're also going to see your username and few other information there all right let's go back here i'm just going to paste it here for database is optional we have two connection method is it import or direct query import will import the data for those tables you have selected meaning those data will be imported directly to power bi and one of the advantage of that is your report is faster because the data is within the power bi environment as the power bi data service data and you can easily query and run activities on them but the direct uh, and the advantage disadvantage right here is that until you refresh it cannot take new data from database because that's important whatsoever it's carried along that side that time but when you direct query it's run query against the database so if there's a new data it's also refresh every time you pull up the report so okay let's just use import method and click on ok it should act right now it's asking for database and how do i want to connect do i want to use my office connection or do i want to use database i'm not using database connection in your organization you have to put the username and password right here but i'm going to use windows authentication so this is fine i'm going to click on connect uh okay click ok when you see this and right there is establishing that connection do you see it has loaded all the three databases that i have and here you can see all the tables we have there not just table tables and views what you see right here are views under the adventure works uh, 2019 database which is the one for online transaction processing these guys are the tables you can see them uh, if you want to see what's the difference if i go to the data warehouse which is do ltp uh, you can see the tables here are quite different you can see the dimensions you can see the fat tables unlike um, the previous one that just have several aspects of the business so wide and tables for almost everything All right and this is the practice that i have okay so let's just pick from any of this table any all right let's come here and maybe i'm picking I prefer to pick from the analytics because it's more or less uh, optimized for analytics now. Let's pick the dimension, you know, already everything is there. Uh, cost employee, let's pick products, let's look for sales, scenario, sales reason. Um, yep, let's just look for sales, fat internet sales, let's just do take this, that's internet sales. That, that should be all. If you want to transform them, you can easily come to transform data. It gives you that power query environment where you can do your transformation each of those tables one by one and that's the advantage right here so that uh, even when the data is refreshed that transformation is already automated more or less like a pipeline so i'm just going to i'm fine right here click on this 
close and apply it loads all those tables and start running queries again then you see it's creating the models connecting them together I, I don't mean relationship now it's just connecting to data source and running query to import the data which is done now if i go to the data view table view right here you can see all the data they are here and i can actually start my work so i'm connected directly to a database on my system so if database is anywhere the moment you provide the credentials to connect to it of course you will all right so thank you and bye